with the Lina carry. You had this one from the get-go. In the first one, two, you said this is either a Lina support or a Lina safe lane farmer. Why is that? And that will be a good way for him to come back into the game. But for now, hold up. Snowball, DK Fobles, Fisher, Light Strike, Array, Wills land, and DK Fobles is not going to be able to get the skewer in time. S4 picks up the first blood. Yeah, they just see Dusa. It's just too slow of an item build. Not enough offense. Yeah, that's why you don't see heroes like Morph so much anymore because they rely on items like Lincoln's. God, he's like... gonna pop the global silence, but they're inside of the snowball. That means they are not silenced up, and G will go down. The Telekinesis is gonna be able to catch Kuro, though. RP being faked out. DK Fobles doesn't need it, though. And Zai, he's gonna be caught too. Illidan, look into my eyes. He's gonna be able to pick up that kill as well. That's really good for VP, but at the same time, that, that silencer is dirt for and farm were so critical. Illidan's gonna be caught here. Light strike array combination, but of course Illidan is so tanky. Thanks to that level three mana shield. They get the deny in the end, but Illidan is now blocked out. And the snowball grabs everybody oh, through. DK Fobos, he missed the cure. Still gonna be in a three-man RP. They need to get Ferdy Pro out of here though. FNG, there goes the look good blade. High shards on top of the Magnus as well. And FNG is gonna be caught. Arteezy runs him down easily with the ion shell. And it's only really G. He may not even survive. So the trap goes off, slows him down. High shards blocking him out. Lil comes in, trying to stop this aggression, but a snowball will still be able to bring them into the oh, tier 3 tower. Fisher goes out, slowing down Lil. They're going in deep to the enemy base, but there's no buybacks from VP. Girls dropping lower and lower. They'll pick up that kill. Arteezy just has the refraction to survive. He's gonna TP out and will be able to get away. A 1 for 4 exchange to the favor of Secret. This is really dangerous. They pop the global silence. RP on two, but S4 has already managed to get the Yule Scepter. The They're gonna try and burst down DK Phobos. Kuro is gonna be the target. Snowball gonna run into two here. Illidan, meanwhile, just trying to get the rest of his team out of this one with his ultimate. But Secret are still gonna be able to search for it. They're going for Lil right now. Oh, Puppy comes in with the Echo Slam on top of the vacuum. Beautiful combination. Take it out two. The slow is there on FNG as well as God. Puppy looking for the Fisher. Catches at least G. That's gonna be a third kill coming out as Kuro kills him with the Ice Shards. Now now FNG runs into one trap, a secondary one, trying to TP up, but the snowball is going to be there in time. A fourth kill for Team Secret. BP, it seemed like a very odd moment to go for a bit of aggression. At that point, I mean, we saw it right there. That's the weakness of having supports like this and having the lead with that, because Zai just popped the mech, full HP. And now, as you said, they're going to be able to take Roshan. Lil is showing himself. Slow him down with Fisher, lock him in with the ice shards too. Lil can't go anywhere. He has to just TP out for fear of snowball. Sure enough, here it comes. They go into Lil. DK Fobos managed to grab two with the skewer, but there's still just not enough damage. They're trying to pop Kuro right now, but Illidan pops the ultimate. Will be able to get the right clicks in. Arteezy is stunned up. Turned into that stone form, but Illidan is completely blocked out now. The Dual Scepter into the Light Strike Array. Will be able to control the Laguna Blade to pop him. Arteezy loses Aegis now, but it's still going to be a good fight for Team Secret. Backing you up too. God trying to get whatever damage he can before he dies. FNG will be able to successfully TP out, and DK Phobos just stays out of that fight almost entirely after his skewer. Nice steal, beautiful. Lil catching him with the telekinesis and turning the Fisher back around Puppy, but he's actually still staying alive. He gets the creep aggro off from Lil, gets the last right click. Now an RP and RTZ, they need to control him underneath the tower, but he instantly blips away. This one, there's still the snowball though. Still a lot of potential for Crow to maybe get out of this one. The snowball's gonna delay his death, blowing it back. Crow now trying to run himself away, but the Ukes are still there. Vacuum up oh. three, and Echo Slam! There it is from Puppy with the snowball on top! And VP quickly trying to retreat, but they've been caught. Lil Luguna Blade and the last right click catches him. Illidan is also running out of mana. Arteez, he's trying to pick up as many kills as possible. Illidan will end up going down in team secret. They overcommit a little bit too hard for Kuro. I mean, this is just secret at the top of their game right now. They're really feeling it. This is when a team just really feels like they can execute whatever combo that they want because the rest of the game has gone so well for them. I mean, Arteez is just chasing everybody down at will. They're going to take this tier three tower down for free. They know that the slip is down. They know that the RP is down as well. Yeah, it seems like a full lane of racks potentially with the do set down for another 15 seconds. At the very least, range racks. It's going to be trying to be picked up. Nice blink dodge there. The Insignare will grab the rain tracks. They're going to look for more. Got to be careful, though. Lil's actually stolen Mel. Not a bad ability for Ruby. Help him out with an RP. Back him out of two. There's a wall on top. They managed to drink, bring some of them away, but God's not going to be able to make that TP out. Kuro once again is there with the snowball. Now DK Fobos trying to stay ahead of Puppy. FNG. They accept that they have to blow the sleep to make sure everyone else stays alive, but this is now a prime opportunity for Team Secret to push into the base, knowing that there's two different big-time ultimates down. 
Yeah, and that's probably even worse than not losing any heroes in this phase of the game. When you know that all their abilities are down here. Echo Slam! They did it again! Team Secret! Beautiful combination that ensures a pickup on two. And FNG's just sitting there going, I already blew my sleep. There's nothing I can do about this. Dyer's Melee Rax goes down to GG is the call. Virtus Pro. They didn't seem to stand a chance. Team Secret, once they got that slight lead, they held onto it so tight. It did not make any mistakes. Very well played, Team Secret. Walking away with the victory in game number one. And that's just perfect team play. They completely punished the lineup of VP, who opted to go for a few risky maneuvers, but it didn't pay off. The G silencer, that lane had to go well. Like, the laning phase had to go nearly perfectly for VP to stand a chance, but, I mean, Secret...